All right, today I'm going to show you guys how to connect your local host machine to your GNS3 topology and that'll be helpful if you want to use your own tools and create your own scripts and I'm personally doing it so I can start messing around with Python and Ansible and some other automation tools so I'm trying to figure this whole thing out as you can see here I was trying to set up uh, this Ubuntu box which works I can get from this box and run code and do whatever I want but I figured it'd much, be much easier if I just do it from my local box so what we're gonna do is gonna use Windows 10 um, and I'm gonna use my Linux subsystem here which is just a uh, Ubuntu and we're gonna go ahead and drop a cloud into your topology here and I'm gonna make sure it's running on my VM so I know that's accessible and another thing I just want to touch base I know I haven't uploaded in a while but as we go on from this point on I actually got a couple licenses from work and I'm lucky enough to be able to have these so everything's gonna be a lot smoother for me and you can see um, just doing a match here you see that my license is valid and so I've got all my routers running a license now so we're still gonna remember admin safe but it's gonna be a lot easier to get through here so back to it we're gonna go ahead and start with adding a so I'm gonna do this a little a little harder than it probably needs to be um, and the Cisco box. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna configure an OSPF adjacency between router seven and router five here, and we're gonna set up the host machine to access the Alcatel 7750 through my Cisco box here so we'll go ahead and start with adding so at least one two three, um, so let's get this configured all right so to make things easy, we're just gonna pull DHCP from this interface. So, let's get the T, this phase row zero. DHCP. Okay, we'll turn it up. And, okay. <clears throat> so, zero zero is gonna be connected to our cloud node here. Hopefully it pulls an IP address here. Okay, so 131, so there it is. And then next we're gonna wanna connect router five to router seven, and that's my Alcatel box to the Cisco box. So just configure router interface to router seven. And we're gonna use the same subnet scheme we've used throughout our other labs. So we'll give it an address of 10, 5 to 7, 5, 4. And we're gonna use 4113. I think that's available. And I believe that's it. And then we gotta make sure our port will be up. Interface so two router seven ten five point seven okay so let's go ahead and get a link going here so zero one two three all right now let's configure our Cisco box so let me give this one seven. Okay, no shut it. Shut it. Up, up, 
Okay. Show IP interface brief. So you can see 10577. So I should be able to ping my box. All right. Good to go. So that's the easy part. Now let's get uh so we're gonna build in a OSPF area one because that's what I have over here. There's nothing there right now because I got everything shut off. We're gonna ignore this up here. It's just another part of my messing around. So I've got area one set up on my router over here. And we're gonna go ahead and add Interface R7. Okay. Now, I'm gonna set up OSPF in the Cisco box. Oops. OSPF process one. So, I'm gonna do network area one now another cool command on here is you can just re redistribute connected subnets this makes things a lot easier with uh, it's kind of like having a policy an import policy on uh, the 7750 so I found this to be pretty helpful while I'm playing around anyway so let's go back to okay so we got router SPF one so let's go ahead oh another thing is a funky thing since our we gotta set our MTU so figure four Ethernet MTU 1514 that way whoa, the router inter interface as you can see that went up right away so the router interface, again, just to touch back on previous previous labs, it, it, the router interface takes the MTU from the port MTU, and so we'll see show port. You can see we got this one set up, and then by the time it becomes the router interface, once it pulls the 14 bits total. to R7 and we do a detail here we'll show our MTU so there it is 1500 and then once I change that we saw the adjacency come up here so now we have we have our neighbor here so this is looking good right here. So show router route table. So we have access to 122. And this was something else. Okay. So. Oh, sorry. All right, so 192, 168, 79, 131. Perfect, so what we're gonna do, is we're gonna open up the Linux subsystem here within Windows 10, and we're gonna try and ping the Cisco box, which uh, isn't gonna work, or actually this one will work. Let's see. Okay, so now we can get to our Cisco box from our local machine through this cloud node into our topology. So go ahead and stop this. Now what I want to do 
is I want to get to my Alcatel box. So that's not going to happen since I don't have a route into, well, it's right here. So say I want to access this 10575, which is the local interface. <clears throat> 113 on the 7750 going to the, uh, the Cisco box so what I'll do is let's see so I haven't had much luck adding a static route through this Linux command line so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the command line Windows command line but you want to make sure you run it as an administrator So here's just your regular command. So you can also use PowerShell if you um, you prefer, uh, just to make things as quick as possible here. So we'll go ahead and do route print. Same thing as just doing a show uh, a route on the Linux command line. So there's nothing there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do is route add. 10570 and our mask is going to be 255, 255, 255, 0. And then the next hop 192, 168, 189, or I'm sorry. What was this? Uh, 168, 79, 131. So that's good news. So let's see if I can get to it. Okay. So what we want to do is from router 5. So we want to have a. Oh, there it is. It just took a minute. Perfect. All right, so now I can get to my 7750 from my local box. So this is this is from my local machine I'm using to host all my GNS stuff. So if I want to get inside that box, this is a, another problem I ran into is so this add a group um, group out of range I mean uh, upon some further research it, it, from what I understand is the <clears throat> open SSH has been upgraded and so basically we're trying to connect to an older server or in this case the Alcatel 7750 but since I'm running it off of a VM and I don't really want to mess around with trying to figure out how to upgrade the client on that on the box so what the workaround I found was you're gonna add just a little bit of code into your SSH configuration so we're gonna go ahead and go SSH. so in here so we are going to make config file <clears throat> and we're going to go ahead and paste this guy in here. So then we're going to save it and nope, nope. Save it. So there it is. And now we should be able to access the box. Uh, let's see, SSH. Oh. Okay. So, change the permissions on this. We could do. So, we're going to do read write for the user, which is me, and I'm not <clears throat> running as uh, sudo here. So, we can just do. Think. 
so I was already in the SSH folder, so okay. So this gives me read and write for the user only. Um, Perfect. So, just go ahead and say yes. So, local password for all of these, just admin. So, there I am. So, I am now logged in from my local Windows 10 Linux subsystem into my GNS topology going through the Cisco box. And that's running OSPF to the Alcatel box. And that allows access with the default or the static route I made here on my Lin or on my Windows machine. Piping down to Alcatel 7750. So now I'll be able to use, you know, if I want to use uh, MOBA term or putty or something different running from my machine and not inside GNS Which hopefully will give me some more tools and make things a lot easier and running some scripts and stuff like that. So hopefully this helps some of you out and uh, Thank you for watching